Good day everyone, I am Charina A. Quinto, your grade 9 mathematics teacher, and I am here to discuss with you week 2 lesson 1 under learning competency M9AL-1C-1. The title is Characterizes the Roots of Quadratic Equation with the Objectives, Find the Discriminant of Quadratic Equation, and Characterize the Nature of Roots of Quadratic Equation Using Discriminant. So, what is discriminant? Suppose we have four quadratic equations below and we have uh, find the roots of each of the equation using any method already discussed in the previous material. So, these are the equations and their roots or solutions. Number one, x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. And number 2, 2x squared minus 3x minus 14 is equal to 0. The roots of the first one are 4 and 4. The roots of number 2 are negative 2 and 7 halves. The roots of number 3 are 3 and negative square root of 13. And 3 positive square root of 13. And number 4, the roots of 8x squared is equal to 20x minus 17 are 5 minus 3i all over 4 and 5 plus 3i all over 4. Now, take note that i means square root of negative 1. Let us now characterize the roots of these equations. So for number 1, x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. Notice that there are two roots, but they have the same value. So we can say that these two roots are real, rational, and equal. For number 2, we have... 2x squared minus 3x minus 14 is equal to 0. And we have negative 2 and 7 halves as their roots. Therefore, the roots are real, rational, and unequal. For number 3, the given is x squared plus 6x is equal to 4. We have two roots, 3 negative square root of 13 and 3 positive square root of 13. The roots are real irrational and unequal since they have different signs okay. and for example number 4 8x squared is equal to 20x minus 17 the two roots are 5 minus 3i all over 4 and 5 plus 3i all over 4 and the roots are we can say that they now, even without the roots of these equations, we can still determine the nature of their roots by means of discriminant. Dito na ngayon papasok yung discriminant. What is discriminant? It is the expression b squared minus 4ac, which is the radicand part of the quadratic formula. Kung matatandaan nyo yung ating video lesson about quadratic formula, this one b squared minus 4ac yung nasa loob ng radicand symbol na, di ba, yung nakaganon. Alright, so we can go back to the four given quadratic equation and discuss the application of the discriminant. Before using the discriminant, make sure that each quadratic equation is written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero since we need to know the rules of a, b, and c. So we will now... Have the example number 1, x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, where the values of a, b, c can easily be identified as 1, negative 8, and 16. And use the discriminant, we will be using the discriminant b squared minus 4ac to compute for its value by substituting the value of a, b, and c. Now, b squared minus 4ac will now become... Negative 8 quantity squared minus 4 times 1 times 16 when we substitute this to this formula. And then by applying the PEMDAS rule, we have 64, ito yon, and then minus 4 times 1 is 4, and then just copy 16. So 4 times 16 will now be 64 minus 64. Notice that the value of b squared minus 4ac or the discriminant is equal to 0. Hence, the roots of these equations are real, rational, 
and equal. Kapag in-apply natin itong discriminant na b squared minus 4ac at nag-0 siya, uh, we can say that in general, re, uh, the roots are real, rational, and equal. So, kapag nagkaroon na ng roots to, real yon, rational, saka equal. Now, takes, let's take a look at example number 2, where the given is 2x squared minus 3x, 3x minus 14. Hence, the a, b, c are, because, uh, yan, 2, b, negative 3, c, and negative 14. Now, we will be using the discriminant b squared minus 4, a, c again to compute for the value by substituting the value of a, b, and c. Thus, for the discriminant, we will have negative 3 squared, ito kasi yung b, and then minus 4a, ang a natin is 2, and then c natin is negative 14. Now, we will be sub simplifying this according to the PEMDAS rule. Ito muna may exponents, so negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, and then 4 times 2 is 8, and then negative 14 copy, and then isisimplify natin yung 8 sa 14, so magiging 9 plus 112. So, notice, ito ay times, and then 9 plus 112, the value now of our discriminant is 121. Now, let us focus in 121. Notice that 121 is a perfect square number. If this is the case, kung perfect square number yung lalabas, we can say, in general, that the roots of the equation is real, rational, and unequal. So, let's take a look at another example. Example number 3 is x squared plus 6x is equal to 4. Then, we can uh, make it in a standard form. x squared plus 6x minus 4 is equal to 0. Then, if it is already in the standard form, we can now find out the value of ABC where the values are 1, 6, and negative 4 respectively. And then, we will be using the discriminant uh, formula b squared minus 4ac palaging ganyan to compute for its value by substituting the value of a, b, and c. Thus, when we have the discriminant b squared minus 4ac at nag-substitute na tayo, we, it will become 6 squared minus 4 quantity 1 thus times negative 4. Now, 6 squared, when we apply the PEMDAS rule, is equal to 36 minus 4 times negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 will be equal to 16 since negative 4 times negative is positive. And then when we simplify 36 plus 16, that's equal to 52. Notice that 52 is not a perfect square number. So if the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is not a perfect square number, then we can say in general that the roots of this equation, x squared plus 6x is equal to 4, can be a real, irrational, irrational, and unequal, hindi pantay. No? And last but not the least, the last example is 8x squared is equal to 20x minus 17, where when we write it in standard form, it will become like this. And then, we can now identify, since it is already in the standard form, we can identify now the values of A, B, and C, where A is 8, B is negative 20, and C is 17. Now, we will be using the formula discriminant, B squared minus 4AC, to compute for its value by substituting the values of A, B, and C. Thus, B squared minus 4AC is equal to negative 20 squared minus 4 times 8 times 17. And then, negative 20 times negative 20 is equal to 400. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Kaya 32 times 17 is now 400 minus 544. Now, our discriminant now will be equal to negative 144. Now, if this is the case, then we can say that the roots of the equation 
are not real. Bakit not real? Kung matatandaan nyo yun sa dati natin lesson, if we have, di ba, pagka nasa square root symbol na to, eh, b squared minus 4ac, if negative 1 for 4 is not real. Kaya nga meron tayo kaninang sagot na letter I or imaginary. Now, therefore, this is the summary of all the uh, topic that we discussed today. When the discriminant value uh, of uh, b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, we can say that the nature of roots is real, rational, and equal. Now, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, and it is also a perfect square, if it is greater than 0, and at the same time, no, perfect square dapat, its, uh, its nature of roots is real, rational, and unequal. Now, if the discriminant is greater than 0, pero hindi naman siya perfect square, we can say that the nature of roots is real, irrational, irrational, and unequal. Hindi pantay. And if the discriminant value na b squared minus 4 is, is less than 0, meaning to say negative, for example, katulad sa example natin kanina, negative 144, then we can say that the nature of roots is is not real. I have here more examples. So, for example, number one, the given is x squared minus k x plus 36 is equal to zero and find k if the roots are real, rational, and equal. Meron na siyang clue dito. So, for the solution, the equation is already written, written in the standard form so we can declare the values of a, b, and c right away. So, we can say that the value of a is 1, b is negative k, although unknown pa yung kanyang value, unknown pa, nawawala, and letter C is 36. Oh, madali lang pagka naka-standard uh, form na kasi, no? naka-format na siya na ganyan. Now, since the nature of roots based on the example or the clue is real, rational, and equal, we can say that the value of the discriminant is zero. ba? Pwede natin sabihin na ganito siya. Therefore, if we will substitute this one, negative k, which is yung b natin na, na nakuha kanina na value. So, negative k squared minus 4ac, ang a natin is 1, c natin is 36, is equal to 0. Then, we will now solve for the value of k, wherein negative k times k, negative k is equal to positive k squared minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 36. Then, it is equal to... Um, equal to 144 yung 4 times 36, 144. Then, we will put the negative 144 on the right side by applying the addition property of equality, no? By adding a positive 144 here, left, uh, and on the right na 144, thus, naging k squared is equal to 144 na siya. And then, we will be uh, applying the square root property wherein we will put a square root symbol para matanggal yung square, di ba? Hindi naman pwedeng square, di? Kasi k lang ang hinanap natin. We put a square root symbol here, radical symbol here. Yan. So, we we can now have a k and then a positive and negative square root of 144. Now, we can now get the roots of um, square root of negative 144, which are k is equal to plus or minus or positive negative 12. Now, we can now say that this, 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 yeah. Yeah. We can now say that ito na siya. x squared minus 12x plus 36 is equal to 0. And, yan yun, yun, 12. And then, we can say that the roots are, yeah, di ba? So, ito yun, dalawa siya. So, the roots are positive 6 and negative 6. Kung so-solve na natin to. If you are going to solve for the roots of this, then the roots are 6 and negative 6. Now, let's take a look at example number 2. Given the k uh, x squared plus x minus 15 is equal to 0, find k if the roots are real, rational, and unequal. These are the conditions. No? 
ahead of time we were given already the condition so the equation is already in the standard form so madali na nating malalaman ang values ng a b and c thus we can say that the value of a is k x is 1 and c is negative 15 now, since the nature of roots are real, rational, and unequal, then the value of the discriminant is now greater than 0. Thus, or so, b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. So, by substitution, we can now substitute 1 here, so b squared, and then 4, and then k dito, negative 15 is greater than 0. So, dapat kabisado nyo dito yung rules natin about sa discriminants. And then, solving for the k, we will have uh, 4k times negative 15 is 60k. So, negative times negative is positive. And then, 1 times 1 is 1. Greater than 0, we will now solve for the value of k. So, yung positive 1, lilipat natin sa right side. Kaya, naging negative 1 by applying the addition property of equality. And so, k is greater than negative 1 over 60. Kapag sinolve mo to, it's like this, ha? So, it's like this. So, naka time 60 siya. Ang pinaka inverse operation niya is, ayan, 1 over 60. Parang 1 over 60 na fraction. Tapos, <coughs> 1 over 16 na fraction. So, parang madid, ano to, madidelete to dito. Pero, pagdating dito sa kabila, nandyan na siya. 1 over 60. And then, times negative 1 mo. So, kaya naging negative. Now, k here is greater than negative 1 over 60. Negative 1 over 60. Now, this one is our activity. If we still have time, we will be doing this on our Google Meet. We, you are going to help one another to solve for numbers 1 to 10. Uh, the instruction is, if necessary, write the following quadratic equation in the form or in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Then, determine the values of a, b, c. So, it's that easy. Dali lang, di ba? May pahabol. Activity 3, determine the value of k from each of the following equations whose nature of roots are given, then rewrite the required equation. So, kumbaga, pag na-supply mo na yung value ng k, and then, merong mga clue dito, like, number 1, uh, this equation daw is real, rational, and equal. So, these are already the, the clues. All you need to do is to uh, solve for it, use of the... Uh, st the standard uh, formula na b squared minus 4 ec to find the discriminant, the value of the discriminant, and then you will be able to find the, the roots. Okay, so that will be all. Now, for activity 2, I want you to determine the value of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac of each of the following quadratic equations. Ito yon. So, syempre, kailangan mo malaman yung values ng abc muna. Tapos, pag nalaman mo na yung values ng abc, you are going to substitute it with the formula b squared minus 4ac. So, you will know and you will be able to describe the nature of roots. Where, whether they are rational, whether they are irrational, are they real, are they imaginary, not real mga ganon, or they have equal roots or not equal roots, something like that. So, there are three words that you can uh, use to describe the nature of roots for each of the given. So, I think that will be all for today. So, good luck sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much for listening to our topic. Goodbye!